Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is my second part of our Boston vacation. In case if you missed the first one, I'm going to link it down below in the description box. In that one, I share where we stay and why we were there. But in this one, I will show you what to see in Boston as well as where to eat. So let's start first with the Credential Center. Basically, this is a huge mall and they have all the brand store that you can think of it. In particular, at this center, I saw that size of the store were huge than the normal store that you see at the mall and like i mentioned they have all the brand that you can think of it they had it there and this mall particular is interconnected with the hotel as well as some of the office building is so in the morning when we went there we we were there around, around 10 o'clock so there were not that many people but by lunchtime, these things were packed. As you can see, this is the Sephora. This is a huge store and some of the brand that they had it. I didn't even know that Sephora carried those brand. So after the Sephora, we went to the cafeteria. Now, now this one, this cafeteria is not the usual cafeteria. This is something to the next level. And they also had the grocery store in there. So you can go and shop also. So they have this like an individual shops. Um, th so they, of course, and one thing that I saw in Boston, that it is heavily populated with the Italian people. So no matter where you go, you can find really good Italian restaurants. And of course, they are so famous for their pasta and gelato. So those things that you can find basically everywhere. Also, if you go to Boston, make sure you have a comfortable shoes because you will be walking miles and miles. It is basically like a walking city. You know, you walk everywhere. It is very friendly over there. And our schedule was like in the morning, my husband would go to work and come back around five o'clock. And then Raj during that time was also teaching online classes. So his class started around one o'clock and then finish around three. So then us three leave in the morning, go and see whatever we want to see and then come back around one o'clock so he can take his class. And then again, once my husband come home, then again at night we go somewhere. So we try to cover as much as we can in those uh, few days. And thanks to actually my nephew because he lives there and uh, he gave us the exact map like what you see and especially where to eat because he knows we all four of us are so foodie so he told us those exact thing and then we kind of google and see you know like what are the famous places here so we try to cover those famous places as well here as you can see these are the pizza slices one slice was around ten dollar an entire pizza if you wanted that was like sixty dollars so of course, those are expensive, but uh, excellent Italian food. I cannot recommend enough. You know, they had such a good varieties of food over there. So this is the outside of that center. And that day, it was so windy. But uh, temperature that time during the one week that we stay over there was excellent. Mm -hmm. So this is the opposite side of the Prudential Center. Now on this street, as well as the street behind, from one end to another end, they have restaurants. Each and every building that you see here, it's nothing but the restaurant. And all this building, as you can see, these are the old buildings. So I guess at one point they were the houses, but then now they convert that into the offices some doctor offices were there as well as restaurant you name it you can find it over there and uh, they also have the table outside so in the small porch area they do have like a one or two tables and of course you can sit inside and eat as well but outside they had the tables too so we were just browsing around from one end to another end 
just to decide where to eat and of course we end up with the Mexican restaurant food was again excellent and of this different restaurant that we went to I don't think so we had any bad experience at anywhere so after lunch, we went to this one of the very famous Chileto place called Amarino. Hands down, guys, one of the best Chileto and the macaron I ever ate. It was recommended. So, of course, we had to go and see what they had to offer. They do have a different location, but the one that we went to next to this credential center, hands down, the best. Service was really good. They do have so many different flavors. And I got the mango with the macaron on top. It's I would highly, highly recommend if you ever go to Boston. And I believe they do have it in New York, Paris, and some different places. But this one, the best. So I'm going to leave you here so you guys can enjoy with your eyes first. Doesn't that look so yummy? This is actually Alfonso mango flavor and they nailed that flavor. It was so good. And I think I did mention this in my last video, but if you're looking for Indian restaurant, then go to Maharaja. Whatever we try, everything was really good. That day we were there with my nephew and his wife. So we did order quite a few things, but everything was excellent. And my nephew and his wife, they both work for Harvard. Now my nephew actually came here on student visa so he was uh, you know studying at the Harvard and he has actually two PhD and his wife is a scientist so they both are now actually working at the Harvard so they took us uh, in the campus and they show everything around and it was really nice you know because when we went there it was vacation time that's why you don't see many students there but of course Harvard, like when you name it, who doesn't know that university, right? Harvard and MIT, hands down, one of the best university. And only thing, we just didn't get a chance to go and see MIT. But this is now other, highly, highly recommend, and then it is called Duck Tour. Take this tour, it will take you everywhere, and it will show you everything what you want to see in the Boston now this is again the other side of that Prudential Center. So you take, they do have a different location, but this is where we got, uh, took our tour from. And this bus that you see that get converted in the boat when it goes in the water. And how cool is that, right? Because as you can see right now, you can just ride. And once it goes in the river, it becomes the boat so it goes in the water as well and I'll show you um, but again as you see the steps right they are so narrow so if you do have some I would say either knee problem or you know if you are in wheelchair um, I'm not sure check with them first and see if they accommodate all those stuff uh, but hands down again that would be highly highly recommend because once you take that tour you know it's so easy it takes you everywhere i think that tour was about for two hours so it will take you everywhere it will show you what you need to see in the boston and uh, you do have the guide there so he will you know telling you everything what needs to be uh, the history and all that stuff so we took there that tour so i'm gonna again leave you with this so you guys can see boston all right so here we go all right that's just a little van right there i think i got it let's see here there's your new screensaver look at that see that yeah and you see can i share this look at everyone so in this photo here public botanical garden in the united states process 
public garden and coming up on our left in the public garden uh, site is where the legislative branch of our state government meets. This is where our governor holds uh, their office. That's currently Maura Healy. To our right, across the street from the state house, is one of the most significant civil war memorials in the United States. That's the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial. It's a memorial to Robert Gould Shaw at the Massachusetts 54th all-black volunteer regiment from Massachusetts who fought bravely in the Civil War. If anyone's familiar with the movie, Scorsese won an Oscar. Ooh, nice photo of the early building there. Uh, Martin Scorsese won an Oscar for that movie. The style of architecture of the early building is known appropriately to hundreds of buildings. Very similar to that one. All at this particular wing of the Museum of Science ahead to our left. This is where they study the science. No one coming in the pedestrian bridge mirrors. No one out on the lower basin. Oh, we can make it if we go right now. We have to go right now, though. Yeah, go for it. Here we go. We're going to hear a warning blast of the sun. Here we go. This is so exciting. Try that in your own vehicle. This is as far as you get. There's another duck that looks just like ours coming by on our lap. If you wave at the people on that duck, they all wave back at us. Ooh, nice looking group in there. another very famous Mike's Pastry Shop. Now, we actually went there around 10 in the morning as soon as they opened because they say if you ever go there, try to be there first thing in the morning. Otherwise, the line is around the building. It gets so long and you had to wait in the line for at least few hours to get in here. So we were lucky that in the morning, as soon as they opened, hardly any people were there. So this, all these different pastries and all the things that they have here, the cannoli especially, it's very, very famous. And to be honest, I was not very wow about it. Uh, but still, of course, when, I mean, we were there, right? So of course we had to try something. So I got the cream cheese uh, croissant. Aryan got uh, some donut uh, and Raj got cannoli. And this is the north side of it. So where the Prudential Center and uh, where we took the duck tour, that is also known as the Harvard Square. But this is the north side. Now here they do have the public park as well as, as you can see, you know, they have benches and swings. And they also have the fountains and around like just the hotels and 
like office buildings and all the restaurants and everything is here so we spent quite a few hours here so first we went to the pastry shop we had a pastry first thing in the morning um, because you know i didn't want to go for lunch and then go for the pastry because by then of course if the line gets longer then i didn't want to wait in the line and then raj also had to get back to hotel for his class so i didn't want to miss out on all those stuff so that's why first thing we did is we went for the pastry and then we came here and of course we saw this gordon ramsay restaurant again he's a very very famous uh, chef and his restaurant was there too no we didn't go there um, because i was not into burgers so we didn't go there um but uh, this is the north side as you can see there is a plenty of places that you just go there sit and enjoy everyone going from one place to another you know it was so nice sometimes you just want to go somewhere sit uh, sit there and just enjoy the view and for lunch we went to this mexican restaurant food was so good actually night before we came but we couldn't enjoy much of the food because they had the live music and it was so loud so in the morning again we went there and that same night we went to our nephew's house for dinner and his wife is italian she made the hands down the best tiramisu she actually promised me that she will give me the recipe so as soon as i get it i will share with you but she said made out from only three or four ingredients so i'm waiting for the recipe uh, and the day we were coming back at the boston airport again as you know by now that <laughs> we are into food so much i happened to see this pizza again it was very very famous pizza which i didn't know so when we saw it we were like oh okay let's see how you know how their pizza is so we went there and my husband got the gluten-free pizza and i had some different pizza but again if you ever go to boston airport if you're there try their pizza it was really good <laughs> so that's it guys that was our boston vacation of course it was not kind of vacation vacation but uh, we enjoyed it thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you soon in my next video Bye.